family and friends. How are you? I hope you and your family are safe and happy too. Welcome to season two of Auntie Oni Story Village, where everyone lives in peace and love. I'm Auntie Oni, your favorite storyteller, and I love sharing stories, poetry, and music from villages around the world. I can say hello in many languages. Can you? Repeat after me and learn something new. Ni hao, makadi, guten tag, namaste, hola, bonjour, nainzio, ciao, yo manima, sawubona, tashi delek, haya. Did you hear hello in your language? If you didn't hear Auntie say hello in your language, let me know and I'll give it a go. Auntie Oni's Story Village is for children of all ages. So listen up. Let me tell you a story. Who will be the princess or prince of the kingdom? This is your Auntie Oni special version of a classic Liberian folktale. Lion of the animal kingdom was very worried because he had no children. So one sunny day, he made up a plan to have a contest for all the animals in the kingdom. His greatest desire was to find someone to be his adopted child, to become the prince or princess, so they would inherit his throne and one day become the king or the queen. So he invited all of the animals to a big get-together. The drums sounded out the call far and wide throughout the land. All the animals who heard the drums came from everywhere, and they showed up at King Lion's gathering. Can you name some of the animals who live in the jungle? Send me your list of animals at auntieoni.fun. Well, it was a big party. And they were having a great time dancing circle dances and singing together. The challenge was a contest of skill. Any animals who wanted to be prince or princess could enter the contest. But the rules were not easy. They would have to throw the big long spear way up into the air and do a little dance while counting to ten. And they had to catch the spear before it hit the ground. King Lion stepped into the center of the big circle, and he announced, See this spear? I will throw it up into the sky, do a little dance, and count to ten before it hits the ground. If one of you can do the same, I shall adopt you as my son or daughter. King Lion threw the spear way up into the sky, and he danced around. He counted out, One, two, three, four, five, and he caught the spear in midair before it hit the ground and before he reached the count of ten. King Lion proudly called out, Step forward. If you feel you can follow in my footsteps and do what I just did, you will become my son or daughter and be the prince or princess of my kingdom. Oh, the big, strong elephant stepped up. I will. And he grabbed the spear from King Lion. He threw it up into the sky, dancing and shouting out, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, but the spear hit the ground before elephant could reach the count of ten. Everyone laughed. Elephant was so embarrassed, he ran back to the bush. He was ashamed because with all his might, he didn't get it right. Next, Miss Monkey swung up. She grabbed the spear and she danced and swung and shouted, I can do this easily. Watch me. My middle name is Princess. Miss Monkey flung the spear up into the air. She danced about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the spear hit the ground. Miss Monkey was in shock. Though she bragged and boasts, she swung back up and hid in the tree because she wasn't even close. The 
big ox, the rhinoceros, the gorilla, giraffe, zebra. All the animals took a chance to pass this test, but none of them did, though they tried their best. Would a prince or princess ever be found? Everyone who tried had failed to reach the count of ten before the spear hit the ground. All the animals tried and lost and were very disappointed with the heads bowed down they began to walk away. Seems the party and the contest was over. Why, it couldn't last all day. Just then, they heard a little voice shout. Hey, it's my turn. Don't leave me out. It was Anansi the spider. So little. Yet he was confident and convinced that he had a chance to win and could become the prince. Everyone laughed and shooed him away. He was too little and tiny to win. Hmm, that just didn't make any sense. But King Lion said, Little Anansi may not be able to win, but let him have a chance. With all those skinny legs, let us see if he can even dance. <laughs> so King Lion handed the spear to Anansi, and Anansi threw it up in the air with all his might. Dancing on all eight legs, he shouted out with such a flare. Two, four, six, eight, ten! Anansi caught the spear before it hit the ground in midair. Anansi won the contest. He shouted out aloud, Hey, Daddy Kent, you never said how to count to ten, so where's my crown? I'm the new prince now. <laughs> King Lion was in shock, but he had to agree because he never said how to count to ten. And Anansi knew his two times multiplications, so it was a fair win. King Lion put the crown on Anansi's head but the crown was too big for a Nazi's little tiny head and it fell off. <laughs> Everyone started laughing. A Nazi's head was so small. But a Nazi didn't care because he was just having fun, showing off, and he didn't want to wear the crown at all. He just wanted to prove once again that he could outwit the bigger animals. You see, a Nazi loves his freedom. He didn't want to be a prince or even be a king. So Anansi scattered off into the forest to look for another adventure so he could enjoy his life and do his own thing. Go to Anansi. From Ghana to Liberia to Nigeria to Jamaica to Haiti to Trinidad and Tobago and all around the world. Go to Anansi. Hey, Story Villagers. In the next episode, I'm going to share with you an Anansi song that I wrote for you to sing along. So subscribe and download so you won't miss out. Thanks for listening and invite your family and friends to Auntie Oni's Story Village. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. To let me know how much you enjoy my labor of love, write a review and give me a bunch of stars on Apple iTunes. Want to see Auntie? Visit AuntieOni.fun. Stay safe and I'll see you later, sweet potato, after a while, honey child.